thank you all for joining us today. My name is Rachel. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Bravo. And with me, I've got Christy, our Chief of Staff, and Taylor, our like Head Sales Engineer, FFL Expert. Um, so we wanted to walk through with you all today um, how to crush used gun sales as an FFL um, and how to dominate the used gun market with Bravo. So to kick us off, I'll kind of dive into a little bit about Bravo and FFLs. So we have over a decade of experience helping FFLs succeed in the firearms industry and a proven track record of customers achieving high profit margins in the used gun market up to 54%, um, which you all know is a big, big deal. And then a deep understanding of the unique challenges and opportunities that FFLs face. Regulated industries are our area of expertise and FFLs is definitely leading that charge. So we're excited to kind of walk through today tips and tricks and what the big challenges are and um, open to questions. If you have anything, throw it in the chat, throw it in the Q&A. We'll keep an eye on that. And then we'll send up send out a follow-up email with recording and everything in case you miss anything today or have to leave us a little early. But thank you for joining us and thank you for being here. And I'm going to officially hand it off to Christy. All right, awesome. So obviously there's a lot of challenges just beyond uh, what's happening you know, in the general landscape, um, but the challenges that really face these, uh, you guys as FFLs is bringing in the right profitable mix. Um, selling firearms, it's notoriously slim margins, especially on new firearms. And like the secrets out used is where it's at uh, with 54% margins, on reselling used guns. I was at SHOT Show in January and like, you know, by raise of hands, majority of um, folks out there buying and reselling guns had no idea that a used gun had that much margin in it. So they were actually um, overpaying is what I would say for used firearms. So when, once you recognize that there's so much more profit in the used gun, it's like, okay, product mix. I want more used guns. How do you get them in? Um, every gun guy is out there buying used guns too. So one of the challenges is while you can call up a distributor and get more new guns in your shop, how do you get more used guns that have that higher uh, profit margin? So definitely a challenge, especially if you're not a pawnbroker. Pawnbrokers are so lucky sometimes because they get all of this great inventory for sometimes at a great price because the person never intended to really let it go. They were using it as collateral. So if you're not a pawnbroker, you don't get that little gift. Um, another challenge is like pricing for success. So especially when we're talking about used firearms, um, you know, with, with, New firearms, it's easy. You've got your MSRP and usually you've got map pricing and there's not very far off you can go from that. You really have the guardrails on, but with used guns, it's like, hey man, uh, how do you figure it out? Do you go to used marketplaces? How do you look at all of the data that you're seeing? I mean, maybe you're going out to used guns, maybe you're going out to gun broker, maybe you're going out to guns.com, auction arms. How do you take all of this data from all of these firearms, used firearms, and put it to practice. Um, really, really tough, right? And then finally, just turning inventory fast can be a real challenge. Um, there are kind of two schools of thought, I think, uh, with people in turning inventory. And some people don't mind two turns a year. They like to see their customers come in. Um, they're happy with, you know, making what they make. It's not at top of their mind to like, you know, knock it out of the park and get all those sales online. But if you're a company that wants to turn and burn in inventory, um, especially with categories that have notorious low margins like new guns, e-commerce is awesome because you just, you can't possibly find that many people local to you to serve up that much, many new items. Of course, it does depend on where you're located. So that statement's definitely more true if you're in a rural area um, with less people. But if you're in a big town like Dallas, you're thinking, I don't have a problem getting rid of guns, right? So it just depends a little bit on where you're at. So those are the three main challenges that 
we hear most often when we're talking to gun brokers about um, what the challenges they're facing. So the good news is Bravo has answers for those challenges. Um, so we're going to dig deep into each one of these. But really, the idea is, is, you know, you got to stand out. Uh, let your customer you know, offer something different than what the store down the street uh, offers, right? You need to have pricing confidence. Everybody on your team needs to be on the same page with how you are repricing um, those used guns. And then finally, of course, the fast sales and uh, visibility, being able to streamline the process of getting those items online, wrap packing and shipping them is all like super important. So let's dig in and see how Bravo can help. So first off, uh, again, building the profitable inventory. So if uh, you know, you're know you out there, you're already buying guns, right? Everybody who sells guns also has a we buy gun sign, I think as well. So how do you attract new people, new services? And sometimes when we talk about offering consignments or trades to people, they're like, ah, I'd just rather outright buy the item, right? But the beauty, beautiful thing about consignment is you're not putting any money down, right? You're getting inventory for free and you're making a margin off of that inventory. Is it work? Sure. You're bringing it into your store and you're selling it. Maybe you're putting it on e-commerce for this customer, but you're getting a piece of that. And when we're talking about 15%, maybe margins with guns anyway, you could actually get more margin out of a used gun on consignment than a new one. So just something to think about. Um, the way to attract those consignment sellers is they want the most, right? They want the most amount of money for their firearm. They went online, they saw what it was selling for. Now they're coming to you and they're expecting the same. And that's the nice thing with consignments is you can say, yeah, we can sell it for that dollar amount online, uh, but you're gonna give me 15% or 20% or whatever uh, that consignment amount is. But it allows that seller to get the most amount of money as opposed to just selling it and you know, quickly selling it and walking away. So that's one way is consignments. Uh, they're becoming more and more popular, I think, especially with the generations. Um, they really believe in buying and selling. So it's a great, great, great place to hit. The other uh, item that a lot of hamburgers just don't take advantage of, and I haven't quite figured it out yet, is trades. Trades is the best, in my opinion, because it's like a win-win. Not only are we selling a firearm, but now we're getting a used one, which is going to have more profit margin than maybe the new one we just sold. And then on top of that, a lot of the customers who do trades, they just don't have the cash to buy a higher valued item. So really what it allows them to do is get into a product that otherwise without that trade dollar amount. Um, happening, they probably wouldn't be able to afford that higher uh, value item. And then of course, there's like a nice little like tax benefit to it. So um, that's always nice to save the customer some money there. Trades are awesome. Um, and then finally, bringing it in the right way, making sure all the employees are on the same page uh, um, as to the condition or the accompaniments, um, the items that go with it. Does the firearm have like an optic on it? Does it have a, a holster? Um, has it, does it have something special uh, done to it that makes it more valuable? So really important that everybody's looking at those same um, set of criteria. So where you're bringing it in right from the start so that when you sell it, you can be highly profitable on it. So Bravo helps uh, with getting and building your inventory right, starting with those. Um, next up, so um, getting the price right. So now you've got it in, you bought it for the right price. Now we got to sell it for the right price, right? right? So um, AI is like the big topic right now. And if you're in technology, like I'm in technology, that's all I eat, breathe, breathe and sleep right now is AI. It's ridiculous. I'm just so into it. Um, and AI is great. Like in the next couple of years, there's people out there predicting like as retailers, you're going to be able to put in you know, your zip code, uh, your spend and um, your industry and AI is going to be able to pick out your entire product mix quantities to perfection. So you're not, you know, at the end of winter come 
you know, June, you don't have a bunch of Glock sweatshirts that you're trying to sell for 80% off because AI actually helped based on um, what it knows about you and your geography will be able to do much better predicting and purchasing. Um, so that's cool, but that's not here yet. What we do have and what Bravo has been doing, which is really like the predecessor of artificial intelligence is business intelligence or BI. And the way that BI works is it just takes hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of transactions and it compiles them every night and then delivers back up, you know, the median results. And that's what we do for you in these price guide reports. The report off to our screen right now on uh, the left is our first, you know, dipping our toes into the artificial intelligence. And that's on that bottom graph there where you can see uh, we're predicting the price of, I'm not sure what it is, whatever, whatever we looked at in that particular item, the price is actually going up. And that happens with firearms um, and, and handbags, a bunch of different items. It's pretty incredible. But that um, helps you get your pricing right from the beginning is knowing what's going to happen um, with this item and what's been happening. And that's the kind of uh, information that Bravo helps to deliver to you um, to get that pricing right from the start to turn that inventory. The last piece I want to talk about here is global pricing versus local pricing. Uh, people ask really often, is this, this is like data from all of the customers on Bravo? I just want it locally. You probably know your local pricing uh, better than any AI or BI could. We do global pricing, right? So we're looking for um, what is the price that it is selling for globally? And that is for those e-commerce customers that sell on e-commerce. It doesn't matter if an item is selling for $80 locally. If you can get a hundred bucks online, are you going to price it for 80 bucks? Are you going to price it for a hundred? Okay. So just some things to think about. And that's like when you're thinking global versus local, you know, you're local, but we're going to help you with the global. All right. And then finally, um, Omnicommerce. So I just got off of uh, a different demo for uh, the different e-commerce channels, uh, eBay, Baya, what have you. Um, one of the awesome benefits to Bravo is you can have your stuff on multiple channels, which is the Omni part of it. Instead of just one selling channel, Bravo is giving you multiple, right? So the more eyeballs that you can can get on any of your items, the more likely you are to, to sell that item. And so from the beginning, that is um, the direction and what Bravo saw as the future is being able to have an item for sale in store um, on your own company branded website, on Baya, on eBay, if it's not a gun, if it's, you know, if it's a firearm, then we're putting it on used guns on your company branded website. So the idea is get it on as many places at once. It sells on one channel. We take it down off the rest, sells in store, take it down. So you've got the warnings. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting dinged for accidentally sending or rather selling an item twice. And then finally, um, something that we do have that is not integrated. So if um, you want to sell something on Gunbook or you want to throw it up on an auction, we do have lists templates. So you want to remove the item from your back floor, take it off any other e-commerce channel and just list it to that single auction site. We make it super speedy and fast for you to be able uh, to do that as well. So Bravo is going to take care of you there. Awesome. And then we're going to demo so you all can see what we've been talking about so far. Um, but one last piece of this puzzle and how Bravo can help you move this inventory that you get in and help you get in more inventory is the marketing side of it. So you can use all the data that you have in Bravo about your customers to build lists to market to their past purchase history, the last time they were in with you, what they purchased before, and send out push notifications or text messages to alert them to specials or if you have inventory come in that they might be interested in or if you have a certain type of ammo on sale to kind of reach those people that you know need that information and you can pull that super easily out of Bravo and all of that stored automatically. It's not extra work to get that information out. 
Um, another huge thing is we know text messaging is getting harder and harder, especially in the firearms space. And one way we've been trying to accommodate for that is using push notifications. So if you're if you encourage your customers to download the Baya app, shop your inventory on the Baya app, you can send them push notifications through that app that are not content restricted. So you can say the word gun, you can say the word loan, you can talk about ammo without getting blocked or not being able to send that or getting your hand slapped for that. Um, so it gives you a way to reach this audience that you know is interested in what some other platforms might consider more controversial content, um, but allows you to reach them directly. And it's less expensive than text messaging too. Um, another way to kind of market your inventory, we have seasonal texting and push notification templates that we put out for like upcoming holidays or big sales you might want to be running, kind of give you a jumpstart idea of things you can easily copy and paste into your Bravo system to send out notifications to your customers. Um, we also do keep an eye out for a huge push the last quarter of the year called our 90 days of retail, which a lot of people have seen a lot of success with. Um, we provide you with social graphics and text and push notification templates and different things you can share with your customers to kind of help drum up more business, get more people in the door, get more of those door swings leading up to the holidays too. So we've got resources always coming out to help make this a little bit easier and make the most of your Bravo system. So keep an eye on our social channels and any emails. Um, we send out a weekly newsletter that kind of highlights the latest and greatest at Bravo and we always feature those in there too. So that's my little marketing plug. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to push in right there for number two with the push notifications. If you're yeah. a pawn broker on the call, that would be mobile pawn. Yes. And then if you're um, a retailer, it's the buy app. Yes. So you both have the ability to push out those notifications, zero restrictions, and say what you want. Yep, absolutely. Sorry about that. Yes, mobile pawn. If you're a pawn broker, buy app if you're FFL only. So are we ready to jump into demo, Taylor? We sure are. Let's do it. All right. Let us share here. So it looks like I cannot um, share. It's because you took my name in the beginning. Didn't want to give you the information. <laughs> <laughs> no, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we yeah. are. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to show you what Bravo can do. So from our smart search bar, I'm going to type in a Glock 19. We'll do a Gen 5. And it's going to bring us to our estimator. And instantly on the right-hand side, whether you're doing a pawn, buy, consignment, or a trade, you're going to have amounts shown to you here. Those are going to be based on market data and your store's payout percentages. So those are going to fluctuate based on our condition questions here in the center. So I'm going to start putting in some details. We can even put in details for our e-commerce here. And then if I make our condition very good, you'll notice on the right-hand side, buy amount's going to change. You can make the buy and pawn amounts independent of each other as well. And then not only is it gonna change the value for the firearm itself and its condition, but if we add in say an optic and a holster, you can see again, that amount's gonna change. Now, whenever you enter this information, it is adding this into inventory. It's gonna be automatically adding that into our A and B book, makes it a really easy process. And if we want to check marketplaces, we have a marketplace for usedguns.com. That is going to give us pricing for this firearm. It gives us dates this firearm sold, the condition it was in, and the price it sold at here on the right, which is really great for grabbing some market data. But I have a lot more to show here. So as I jump into Bravo, We've got our price guide summary, like we've been talking about on the left-hand side. This data comes from all of the stores on the Bravo network, and it's going to give us a transaction quantity that comes from the last 12 months 
So we have a transaction quantity of over 5,000 Glock 19s, giving us an average buy amount, an average loan amount, and a median sales price. So you have some great data here, but if we get on our price guide report, we can dive even deeper. So our price guide report is going to house a loan buy and sales price guide. So as we come in here, we can see all of the data about our active inventory and the conditions here. So you're going to have average loan amounts based on the condition of this firearm and our buy and sale price guide are going to have similar values. Again, based on condition, what stores are buying it at across the nation. And we can take a look here at the sales guide. So you have a lot of information at your disposal, but still that's not all. We've also got predictive AI pricing like we were talking about in the slides. So if I scroll down, you can kind of see this in real time. Got minimum, maximum pricing and median and average sale amounts. And then here at the bottom, we have our predictive trend line. So you can see not only what this firearm has been worth over the past couple of years, how it's trending, but over the next couple months, what that firearm is going to be worth. So you can plan depending on the item we're looking at. You can say, okay, this item is going to be worth this in the next couple of months. I think I can safely buy this at this price or do a loan at this price. So it helps you know if you need to be conservative or maybe you're safe and the value on that firearm is going up. And then back in Bravo, we can go ahead and put in any additional details we need to. All of this is going to carry over to that description, any online listing that you put up. And then over here on the right, if this is the amount we want to go with, we'll hit next and finish that transaction up. That's it. So it's awesome. Will you go back because um, some, I think if we have some customers that are pawnbrokers, they might be like, that screen looks a little different. Can you go back into? So one of the things you can do is um, for our pawnbrokers, they generally have to, when they buy inventory from a customer, they generally have to hold it for a certain period of time. Uh, not everybody uh, is subject to that. So in this particular transaction, you can see that you also, while you're bringing it in and looking at the pricing and you know what you should buy and sell and all that stuff for, you can price it right now as well. So that's why there's an MS, MSRP and a price as well as a tag description on this particular buy because there's no hold period. So Taylor can buy this from a consumer right now and then it's gonna create a tag. So as soon as that customer walks out the door, he's putting that tag on that firearm and putting it on the shelf for sale. So it's just a, that's why the screen might look a little different to y'all. And I wanted to mention too, one thing that we did whenever we brought those firearms in, we would, I mean, it was, it was such a quick process. We would go in, we would price it. A lot of the times we'd clean them, especially on those used firearms and have them out for sale in 10 minutes. So it makes it super easy. You're not having to worry about, okay, do I need to go in and price this item and, and print out a tag and put in a description? All of that happens right at the beginning. And then jumping back into the deck, I just have one little, oop, got it. <laughs> um, so that was kind of it for us to run through today. Do we have any questions lingering out there? I know we were talking through some like more common questions we get if we want to address those. Well, people... yeah, let's, let's get the ball rolling with common yeah. questions. <laughs> so what about the cost to list, Christy or Taylor? Yeah, there is no cost to list on any of Bravo's platforms. So on used guns, list everything, cost nothing. On Baya, list everything, cost nothing to list. Um, the beautiful thing about if you list accessories, so you can't list firearms on Baya. Uh, PayPal is one of our payment gateways there. That's why we created used guns. 
Um, but if you choose to list accessories, one of the great things that we do is we geo-target online buyers who are near your store. So if somebody's looking for um, maybe your sporting goods store and it's like, you know, an, an, uh, I want to say bow and arrow, but is that right? I mean, bow and arrow? <laughs> <laughs> people. Anyway, whatever it is, maybe it's a holster, you name it. Um, if it's inventory in your store, you've listed it on buy it, it's a local buyer. We're going to pop up a Google product listing ad with your store's information um, to drive them into your store. So that is all for free. If nobody ever buys anything, you're getting all of this free marketing and advertising. Um, Thanks to thanks to the buy a network. So that is a great reason to list on there. And again, it costs nothing. Um, and then one last thing on that is you can make certain items uh, in store pickup only. So if you're not comfortable shipping a particular item, uh, you can make that local. And again, there's some people who just believe in local, local, local. You can do that too. If you don't want to wrap pack and ship, no problem. Just mark it as in store pickup only, and you'll see a ton of local customers start uh, coming into your store. So exactly. free. So then speaking of wrapping, packing and shipping, how does that work? Yeah. So Bravo is not currently, although it is on roadmap to be integrated with some shippers. Um, I think we're, we last talked to ShipStation. Um, one of the benefits to partnering with a big partner um, will be that we'll be able to pass on like great shipping rates to you all. So we are actively looking um, for that integration. Um, but as of today, what happens is you'll just go out to FedEx, UPS, USPS, whoever you're going to ship to, um, put in, you know, the address, whoever you're shipping it to, get all that done on their site. And then you'll come back into Bravo um, and we'll handle the communication. You'll just enter the shipping or tracking information into Bravo, and then we'll take care of the communication. So as soon as, um, say it's a gun, unused gun, and you've just sold it, comes onto your dashboard, we immediately uh, communicate with the customer and let them know, hey, we got your order, we'll let you know when it ships. Once you process the order and tell us you've shipped it, we'll communicate back out to that customer again, let them know, hey, it's on its way, here's the tracking number. Um, if they want to return it, all of that is automated as well. Um, really simply, they, if they you do get a return, which are really low, um, but if you do happen to get one, you get a piece of paper. All you'll have to do is scan that barcode when it comes in and uh, hit next, and that item's back in your inventory. Uh, you can reprice it, put it back on your showroom floor. So we make it easy, uh, with, but we do not have integrated shipping as of today. Awesome. And then the other thing I was thinking earlier, what about the cost to sell? Listing is free. What about the cost to sell? Yeah. So um, this is the hard part. Taylor, do you know the numbers? I like, I put this in here and I'm like, ah, I'm not sure if I know. So who knows the numbers? Yeah. I'm not in sales. Yeah. yeah. So um, for your percentages for selling on used guns um, and um well, used guns is 4% um, as a success fee. Um, so it, there's no fee until that item's sold. And if you were to sell on a company branded website, there's no fee to sell that item. Um, so on selling guns, they're, they're pretty low. The highest we're looking at currently is 4%. And then if you sell something on buyer, I believe it's 8% of the final uh, success fee. Fee. So that's after everything's paid. Similar to, eBay. I think it's how everybody does it. They call it a success fee. Um, and eBay, if you have your own company branded website, you sell on that, it's 2%. Um, if you don't have a company, it's five. So I do know those two. Awesome. Those are all the questions I had on my list. Do we have any? I didn't see any come in. No, any other? Out. Closing notes, lingering questions from the audience. Awesome. Alrighty. Well, yeah. The last thing I would just mention real quick is every day, you know, growing a 
new e-commerce website that sells firearms, a little tricky. You can't do SEO, you can't do Google, but every day um, word gets out and every month we see month over month our sales increasing um, on used guns. So if you've been with us for a while, um, you should, see, should be seeing definitely an uptick in those used gun sales. Uh, yeah. That's and in 2023, I know that our customers that used e-commerce versus didn't use e-commerce didn't use e-commerce sold 288 more firearms than the customers who did not use e-commerce. So we are seeing a lot of traction and a lot of movement in the used and new firearms through e-commerce. Just really cool. Yeah. I know when I worked in a store, um, it wasn't like a week wouldn't go by in a week. You know, one person a week that really adds up, that could be 52 people a year, would come in and say, hey, I saw your XYZ on your website. Is it still here? Not a week went by that I didn't hear that. Um, so it's a lot of local people come in when you're putting your great stuff online for them to look at. Sure. So, well, thank you, Christy Taylor, for your time today. And thank you to everyone for joining us. We hope you learned something. If you think of any questions after we wrap up today, please feel free to shoot them our way. Hello at bravostoresystems.com is the best way to reach us and we'll get you in touch with the right people. Um, again, thank you for your time today. We really appreciate it. And 